Hi, John Gillespie. Just had a couple of minutes to show you a diagnostic that I had to do about a week ago. Just finally got around to having a little bit of time. 2018 Ford Transit van. And what you can see on the screen is the throttle position sensor data compared to the APP data. You can see the APP sensor number one up at the top is going up to four volt and back down so it's we're approaching wide open throttle on the APP. What you can see in throttle position sensor number two is that it's only going up to about 1.7 volts and not really going much higher than that at any point. The car sets a throttle position sensor correlation code between throttle position sensor number one and throttle position sensor number two it's setting a code that the computer's saying they don't match. There's too much of a variance. Interestingly, if you push on the throttle plate toward the closed position, key on engine off, you can actually make it say no fault in the data. But as you get on the throttle, computer starts to open it, and instantly you get a fault. Now, the car is still drivable for the most part. Uh, it's got some other drivability problems and a bunch of codes that it will generate. But right here we've got enough information that it's pretty much a slam dunk the computer's lying in the data now there's a reason for it uh, computer doesn't see an analog signal the microprocessor can't use that it's it's garbage to it so there's a part of the computer that's called the analog to digital converter this signal goes in to the computer the analog to digital converter converts that into digital information to send it on to the microprocessor. That part of the computer is getting this measurement wrong. And it's telling the microprocessor that that throttle position sensor is only going up to 1.7 volts when what you'll see in the rest of the video is that I am manually making a measurement to confirm whether the computer can see the real world or not. I will tell you that if you try to follow Ford service information, this is not an easy diagnostic. And in the event end, they're going to have you replace the ECM, but you're really stuck with wondering why. How can I prove it beyond just what this says? So what I've done in this video is show you that you have to prove that the computer can see real world values. Just because the scan tool says that the voltage is only go, going up to 1.7 does not mean that it really isn't. And you'll see that the voltage is actually 3.8 volts when, it, when the scan tool is saying 1.7. So the computer's wrong. Or you can say the computer's lying, however you want to preface it. But I hope this video helps. And sometimes computers do lie. See ya. Here's something you don't see every day. I am pinned in down here at the computer. Those are the APP signals. So APP uh, number one, you can see it is four volt and the voltmeter agrees. APP two is two volt right there and the voltmeter agrees. Here is throttle position sensor number one 2.81 2.85 not exactly but close but look at throttle position sensor number two shows 1.7 volts from the scan tool. It's 3.8. So while three of the voltages agree, one does not. And it's the computer screwing up the data.